No, I'll just hit auto. It's fine. Alright. Best I could hope for would be taking out, like, one of your squads, and that would take too much time for that, I think. Okay, so he just took back Torsethi. Dude, he has so many armies. <laughs> he has so many armies, chat. Uh, like, there's one. We just killed three of his armies, right? And there's one, two, three. That's his main one. Is there another one? No, that's a hero behind it. Is that an army? No. That's that's an elf, right? It's got a Slanish icon above it. Gift of Slanish. That's a vassal. Okay. Can't use this again for 48 turns. Okay. Uh, quick deal. Trading. Exiles. The Grand it intrigues me to he wants 1,100 gold, but then he'll give me 400 gold per turn. Yeah. Nice. So, I'll get that back in three turns. Uh, quick deal. Be quick about it. She won't take it. Unless I try to threaten her. <laughs> uh, she's right there. I eh, just, just cancel, just cancel it. All right, so going east, we're gonna hit Lothurn here. And I'm wondering if Fairlight can get there this turn or if uh, he cannot. Waiting on Mitch and Bomb. So talking with Fairlight on whether or not he wants to have our three armies converge on Lothurn, and he's like, he said his stuff has attrition right now, so he might just continue on eastward. Uh, question. I see a elf dude here that has a Slanish icon above his head. Does Mitch control that, or is that just like a vassal unit? That means that he's someone currently in the process of tempting. Like, he's 
converting them to his side slowly. But he, as a player, is not in control of that unit right now? Correct. Okay. Showing him a little leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, You've certainly got some he's, legs. He's doing, uh, he's doing a, a little twerk in the distance, being like, look. <laughs> he's like, we got demon booty over here, and the elves are like, mmm. <laughs> Do it clap, though? <laughs> Sacrifice to math unperformed. Action destroy daughters of the forest. Okay, so I could definitely hit both in this turn. If I did, Astro I am Maze so sick control. of these enemy lizard armies spawning in your city, Smuck, and then coming after me. I've literally, I've literally never seen this a single time. Like, <laughs> it, it's gonna spawn an army like here in your cities and then come south to fight me next turn and the only way i can stop it is if i take those cities from you no you gotta be nice no not my economy no uh muck i think i can reach and do the thing you wanted to do it would be very close Well, Nikari just showed me that he has way more movement speed than I do, and I think he's one turn away now. Hmm, I assume he's racing you to Lothern? Uh, possibly. Uh, you could always... Like, did he just now move down there from where he was? I'm gonna did send he move you, already? I'm gonna send you a couple of pictures. There's a picture... I mean, you can just... Hang on. You just... Yeah. I seek stimulation. So there's his position, and that's what I can see forces-wise. Okay, right. But 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 what I'm asking is, did he already move? Did you just watch him move this turn yes, or not? Yes, that's post-movement. Okay. So, I mean, oh, if he's already used his movement, you might be able to sack Lothern and then retreat back to Valzanvil before he can stop you. If I, if I sack Lothern, I think I'll be stuck in the corruption for a turn. Uh, it's a hundred corruption there. Sacking does not consume all your movement. It just takes a chunk of it. So the question is whether you would have enough to make it back. No, absolutely not. It would take Alternate almost all my movement to get to the city. Uh, you're in Astromancy stance. Is that slowing you down? Uh, I, if I, hold on, I'm going to show you. This is normal stance. The, One day emotions. it'll be the victory for you in auto resolve, Lexi. Wait, what'd you say? Those were all victories. I mean, at least, at least on <laughs> well, my I, screen. I didn't see, you didn't say winner. <coughs> on my screen, it looks like Mazda Mundi has so much movement he could get all the way to the Tower of Lysi in this turn. That last one was just okay. An so, empty so, turn, so Muck, here, here, here. I'll, I'll save it in case I steer you wrong and and this misclick costs you all your movement. But I want to at least teach you a mechanic. Um, <laughs> Mouse over, like, take Mesta Mundi, uh, uh -huh. put him in normal normal stance, mouse over Lothern, and hold, but don't release, right click. Yeah, it'll give me and the glowing look, line, I know about that. Well, no, not the glowing line, but you can look at your movement meter and see how much of your movement it took. Oh, there, okay, it'll take 75% of his movement if I do that. Oh, okay, so yeah, if it took 75%, then you probably wouldn't be able to I wouldn't be able uh, to get out of back. the attrition. So I could, assuming I win, I could cap the city and then stay in there, but then probably yeah. be fighting Nikari next turn. Uh, does he have any other armies besides Nikari that are going to jump you? The Herald of Slanesh. Uh, there's always the chance of ambushes, but um, the master. other armies I can see, I don't think would make it there in one turn. Okay. I mean, uh, here. Alright. 
Uh, I'm up for trying it. If uh, I'm, I've mostly recovered from the last battle. If you want to try what you just said, Fairlight. Or if you think it's not worth it, we can bail. Uh, I say let's go big or go home. Why not? Okay, then I am going to go Astromancy stat, state while I uh, walk over there. Wait, hold on. Uh, you don't want us using in camp because it defends against ambush. Astromancy also defends against ambush. Or, do you care Astro if I use this? Ast Astromancy is a unique privilege that the lizard men have. It is fine to walk around in that. Encampment is like the universal ambush counter for every faction, which is why if I disallow one, I have to disallow the other. But like, I'm not going to go making separate exceptions for every single faction. Okay. I am... And, and, and in case the other team like objects to this, I made that ruling in the previous campaign. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, it's just siege it. But let me see if I can put the shore first. Uh, okay, I'm hitting the siege button. Okay. And I, uh, I didn't go out of my way to announce because there's no hero that I see. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can actually... Wow, it's like lagging like mad all of a sudden. I'm not pushing anything. I'm looking at my phone while you guys are doing whatever. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm just trying to back my camera up since it's broken. Okay, there we go. Wow, when I when I try to click my army near Lothern, the whole game is. There's no actual beach near Lothern, as far as I know. Um, you, you like you do some funky like. I, this is my experience with coving Lothern. Like if you try and like so just, if you hold right click on like behind Lothern, for example, fairly. I just land. The... I just I just landed at Lothern. <laughs> nice. Cool. So you ready for me to try again? Yep. Okay. Uh, Mitch, you okay if I order this? Yeah, in a second. Did he say give him a second? Yep. Some of y'all's units die. Die to seduction, I assume, or? Yes. And I get to pick what? Wait, what? I have minus... Am I missing something? We've got the minus 100% and, and seduction. And Kari... Nkari is in the region, and Nkari probably is increasing it. So if he's increasing it by 100, and you're decreasing it by 100, then it's just gone back to default. Okay. So does that mean manual or auto? No, it means... I mean, well, I mean, what's my math? If we manual it, then he can't actually kill your units because we could route them off the field, but that would be kind of a huge... Well, fairly, we tested this, though. If, if it's That a would be a battle. huge... Um, Time waster, but yeah. It's a settle. It's a I'm just. Battle. I reject your reality and I insert my own. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just tell me what to do. He I think took at the moment what? it's just let Mitch click what he wants to click. Yeah. Blessed skink skirmishers. Okay. Anything else, Mitch? Nope. That's it. Okay. Am I free to hit auto? Yep. Okay. Troops. I wonder if it routed. I don't see that anything is grayed out. It's, it's because the whole unit, the the whole unit card moved over to his side. Hmm. See, the last unit in his army is your skinks that are now dead. Gotcha. Okay, if I sack it, I'm gonna take attrition sitting here, so I'm going to occupy it as much as I would like yeah. money. Do not I assume that the cost to um, for you to like take a unit in, is uh, proportional to like the strength of the unit. That is correct. Uh, yeah, somewhat. Yeah. So you might like could choose like one dinosaur or five crap troops or something like that. Yeah. Okay. It's all. It's got a few other limitations on it. There is. Um... 
It, it oh. can only have like... Do you want to fight this one? No, I'm fine hitting auto, but the buttons are grayed out. I can't hit anything. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wait, there are holes in the wall. <laughs> it doesn't yet, it matter. Like, Should have brought a cannon, sucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm totally fine with you <laughs> hitting auto. Uh, there are I just, holes I can't in do the anything. wall. The fuck He's is that? Gonna, he doesn't have a siege attack. That's what's wrong, Mark. Yeah, I mean, we get that. It's just that the walls are already broken down. He shouldn't need a siege attack. Yeah, yeah that's there weird. There are holes in the wall already. Listen, when I took the city, I was very good to it. Carnage. <laughs> You talk. Okay, here's a question that I've never considered before. So, he, I know he's about to take that city. If I go to the city and just manually destroy the buildings that are in there, will that impact him when he takes it? So, uh, yes, he would get nothing, as he was trying to do to you last turn. Yeah, sorry. I don't think it might not let you make those changes while it's already under siege. It will not. Did you just put out to the sea on purpose? Oh, you're avoiding attrition, yeah, I assume, I'm trying, right? Yeah, yeah. Since you own the port, I don't have the luxury of being able to put out to sea and back onto shore again in the same turn. Just trying to not have his army bleed to death. I can relate. My army is pretty banged up. Let me show over there. Someone say bang. <laughs> hmm. We march in rapture. Uh, hopefully, no one's waiting on me. Okay, now we're fine. <laughs> What was slippery again? I know it's good, I just don't remember what it is. Speed and melee defense. Net spell is good against Nakari. Cannot move for 20 seconds. Nine mana. I'll put a point in it, but you... What does the Emperor bid? I am maximum safe. What is this? Bound spell fireball. Fireball is so bad. IMO. Missile resist, what resist. Uh, I want to get him the regen. Let's get that. And then we'll get regen next next time he levels. All right. The then... nation calls. Oh, I know I just got some cool regiments of renown, but but look at this thing, feral troglodon. This thing hits like a freaking truck. I'm just afraid of him stealing it. I'm afraid of him taking it. She hasn't moved yet this turn. Bring this guy home. Okay, they are healing. He won't have the seduction points. Are you sure? Fair light bomb, just pick your brains for a second. I have got some very nice regiment of renown options of the lizard variety, and I'm almost afraid to pick them because I'm afraid that Slanesh will just steal them. What are your thoughts on that? Well, uh, he is limited by. Okay, so. When he goes to steal your units, he has a limit on the number that he can take first off, which I think starts at two and then goes up as he levels up to f four, I think, total at most. 
Um, and then it's also limited by the total gold value. So if your whole army is full of very expensive units, he's not going to be able to take very many of them, especially since you have the trait that reduces the number of... Uh, or, like, it reduces his budget, basically. Also, um, just, just to point out, the uh, when you took Lothurn, the only thing he stole was one Blessed Skink Skirmisher. Mm -hmm. If he had the budget to take something... If he had the budget to take something better, he would have. Okay. So I don't think he has the budget to take... One of your regiments for now. Yeah, you can look at the cost of that unit that he took and give, it gives you a ballpark idea of what his budget actually is. Since it was a... Oh, I can't open up the blessed spawning thing right now. Um, for my mental math, Fairlight, the army that you were in that battle with, was that the army that had the anti slanish trait? No. No, okay. my so army he, that so there does minus not have that trait. Minus yeah, no, yeah. my army... My army... My, Marcus, my main army, has that trait, but he's not there. He is and, currently steamrolling all of Lustria. Uh, Muck, I would also double check your ancillaries just to make sure if you have anything that yes. decreases his budget, it's equipped. A anti slanish ancillary? Yeah. Uh, I'll look. No, I don't have anything like that. I have a anti-human ancillary, but not that. Okay. Alright, chat. I've never tried out a troglodon. And it said, here, hold on. This is, look at this, missile strength 976. Now, I know the Triceratops on these things. The Triceratops, um, they put ballistas on their back, so they have ranged attacks. I don't know if they've got archers on this thing or what. But, as Primeval Roar, plus 24 melee attack to people nearby. Predatory fighter, if, re if uh, enemies you're fighting are routing, you get stronger. It has armor piercing, causes terror, poison attacks, aquatic. It also has some defense, 95 armor. It hits like a freaking truck in melee and at range. It spits goo. Got it. So, it looks like a fun unit. And I know the normal in this game is to save your regiments of renown for when you need them, but it's just... I don't have time, in my mind, I don't have time to do recruiting from home when I'm dealing with this. So I'm using the regiments to reinforce. That's my, that's my thought process. That's a temple guard. Temple guards in Mazda's army are half upkeep. So... Let's move that there. Yeah, it went from over 300 down to 190. So? All right. Uh, oh, uh, uh, there she is. Okay, yeah, she's there. And this guy is on his way home. Um, he, he cannot recruit in this stance. So she's probably gonna hit Skeggy. That's unfortunate. I had to, uh, it wasn't really built up, but it, it's, it is making money. Any plans to go back to Riftbreaker for the DLC? I've already beaten the whole DLC campaign. Uh, it is up on the Mucklet Plays YouTube channel if you're interested. And I have also, uh, the last three Mondays, I have played uh, Survival while uh, having chat integration, and we've been uh, trying it out. Yeah, it's been great so far. I would demo the buildings in Skeggy and the Ziggurat. Demoing the Skeggy buildings won't matter now, though. I mean, that's not going to get me any money back. Or does it just prevent him from getting money? It lowers the sack value and you get that money back. All right.
Wait, that abandons the whole settlement. Is that what I want? No, that. Okay. So I'll bring this guy here, recruit a few units, and then go over there and try to deal with her. I'm glad we're getting to do some fights tonight, because to me that's the most interesting part. This guy's at 19. What is it? This guy reduces the cost of something. I need to see what it was again. What level is 16? Oh, he needs two more levels for his dinosaur. Uh, Cold One, Razor Dawn, Hunting Packs, Ripper Dactyl, Salamander, Ancient Salamander, Stegodon, Bastilodon, Coadal, Dread Sarian, Feral Charcodon, Carnosaur. Basically, all of the beast type things. Should I put... Hold on. What's my income right now? 868? What if I put the Troglodon in the other army? I want to say this is the most action we have gold. seen before even getting to the objective zone in any of these campaigns. 100%. <laughs> is that okay? <laughs> no, it's yeah. fine. I think it's... Like, in, in most of the time, we when we pick our own factions, we pick very secure, isolated, strong start positions so we can expand unchecked and get really buffed. But for this campaign, you got you got crammed into a little shoebox where you couldn't go north and you couldn't go south. And by going east, you're forced into another player. So it's creating early PvP, like earlier than we're accustomed to seeing. Because normally everyone just like minds their own business until like turn 45 and then ran to the objective zone to fight over it. Right. <laughs> But this is a this is an interesting change of pace. Also, Mitch was asking for it by sending all these cultists down here. I'm like, all right, son, I'm gonna I'm coming up there too. I want some I want some revenge for all this cult spam. Yeah, my my chat to, to just talking to the enemy team for a second. So to, north of me is a is frozen land, which I have since learned I basically it's bad if I build there. And Fairlight is like a wall on my south side. And so my chat actually taught me about the sea lanes. I didn't know about the sea lanes until this game. And it was like, either send someone to the opposite side of the planet or go fight pink. <laughs> I was like, well, I'll try pink, I guess. <laughs> Recruit a Soros Lord at Skeggy to boost the strength. Um, really? Fairlight and bomb just, uh I'm pretty sure next turn the, the a little fodder army of uh, Slanish is going to hit one of my outposts. And my chat, a guy in my chat is suggesting I need to recruit a lord there to boost its strength. Do you think that's worth the money? Um, I'm sorry, say say that again. I have what? Skeggy is probably getting hit by a Slanish tiny like fodder army next turn. Guy in my chat is suggesting me recruit a lord there to boost its strength. To with the garrison. Yeah, if they if they don't have a decent unit in that army to fight your lord, then your lord can sometimes tank like several units and keep them busy. Okay, that, uh, but, that army that's being sent at him is actually uh, he's got two regiments of renown in it. I'm actually surprised how much is committed to that. Oh, so probably don't do the lord thing. Um, well, uh, in, in that case, you could do the lord and actually probably recruit a bunch of units there if you have to, unless. Unless you have like that gigantic dino army is nearby to come fend them off, it's it's uh, it's on the way, but it won't be there next turn. If Skeggy has a strong enough garrison that you think the garrison plus the lord and maybe a unit or two regiment of renown could hold it, then you could go for it. It just depends. Like, do you think you're strong enough to stop that incoming army? Really? I think I'm just gonna wait on my backup army to get back. Okay. Thanks for the uh, advice. My economy is constantly scraping the bottom of the barrel, and uh, I don't want to dump the rest of it in that right now. Mm, I I know the feeling. I am also in uh, constant <laughs> constant scraping mode. Despite how much territory I own, I'm constantly having to raise new armies to deal with threats in every direction because Lustria is so spread out. It's impossible for me to like cover all angles. You're not enjoying your dinosaur farm. You know. If it weren't for the randomly spawning dino armies, I'd be A-OK -okay with this. But it's the it's the armies spawning out of nowhere, usually in your cities, and then running south at me. 
that are that are currently the 